Hello everybody and welcome back for another great video here I want to share with you about a patient who's under my care. She has multiple sclerosis and um, today's exam was very, very interesting that the primary stress tissue that came up in her body was the microglial cells in her body, in her brain, excuse me. And those microglial cells, the primary stressor, which we're able to find out what puts the body into stress or tells us that there's a sign that there's a problem with that tissue, and there's a way to see what takes that tissue out of stress with my system. Uh, that's to simplify it. It's a bit deeper than that, but to simplify it, that's what it is. What tissue is in stress? How do we get it out of stress? And we could check every layer within that tissue of how many different infections and stressors are there. So the microglial cells showed stress and it was caused by electromagnetic stress from televisions and LCD screens. Well, we made a remedy right in the room in the exam and gave her that drop right away. And within less than a minute, I retested the microglial cell and it was out of stress, which is good. Now, when we went back to the system to check what is the primary degenerative tissue, it was no longer the microglial cell. It turned out to be the brain. So that means all different parts of the brain. And what stressors we found today, wow. It turned out to be electromagnetic stress on the brain. The next was metals, multiple metals like lead, arsenic, uh, uh, thallium. There's, there was a load of different metals, that nickel, that came up with her. But we're not gonna be treating those in particular. We're gonna be able to give a remedy for her brain that will boost out, that will squeeze out, push out those metals from the brain. We found a very high level of the Borrelia burgdorferi in her brain. We found the Babesia bacteria in her brain, a very high level of mycoplasma bacteria in her brain. The other co-infection, as it's known, with Lyme infection called Ehrlichia, that was a very high level of that infection in her brain. We found even higher level of infection with the Bartonella bacteria, Bartonella hensile, it's known as in the brain. We also found Candida glabrata in the brain. That's one of about five or six different Candida strains I have here in my clinic. I found a very high level of Rickettsia and then a very uh, small level of Babesia uh, uh, microti, uh, different strain of the Babesia in her brain. In order for that brain to calm down, in order for those lesions to one day disappear from her MS brain, you need to get these infections that are out of her brain. If you go back and look at other videos that I have, there's one called neurobrucellosis and another one called neuroborreliosis. I made videos on this where it's been proven in laboratories that in the lesion, the bug, the Borrelia, the brucella bug can be in there. It can be any of them. It could be the mycoplasma. It could be the, the, the Ehrlichia. They all can get in there and cause destruction of the brain tissue, which then causes a whole cascade of other kind of biochemical reactions to take place. And I talk about that in another video which I'll list under this video, a video that I titled Immunoexcitotoxicity, uh, which is one of the stressful biochemical reactions that happen in the brain with MS. But we found on this day in the brain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infections, serious high level infections in that uh, MS brain, as well as multiple metals and electromagnetic stress. Remedies are made up for each of these to help her just blast those infections out of the brain. I will see her in 27 days. I'll report again what my findings are on the next visit. Layer after layer after layer, peeling away to get to the center of the onion, as, it's, as, as the cliche goes. Um, but you leave these infections in the brain and just take autoimmune medications, immune suppressing medications like prednisone or any of the others out there that are supposed to be the new miracle drug. You leave these infections, the disease never stops. Maybe they can slow down the progression of the damage, but they can't stop and get rid of the cause of the disease. And that is what it's all about. Get rid of the cause of your disease. Because until you do that, until you take away the gasoline from the fire, you can't put that fire out. You gotta turn off the gas. You got it? So these are fuel to her MS condition. Share this with one friend. And I look forward to helping you and others Thank you, and I'll see you again.